Hi friends, Angelica here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some Copic coloring and I picked a new stamp set from Colorado Craft Company to work with. Now when I saw this stamp set, I immediately fell in love with this witch. She is absolutely fabulous and I could not wait to color her. So this is the stamp set we'll be using. It's called Tombstone Witch. There's also two new big and bold stamp sets in this release, as well as some new uh, Anita Jerem Halloween illustrations. So you can find those over in the Colorado Craft Company shop, and I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description. We're going to jump right into this project. I've already stamped um, the witch onto Express It blending card with Pink Fresh Studio uh, Detail Black Ink. And I covered her up with a mask. I stamped mask paper and then used um, detail scissors to cut out the witch so I can cover her. And then I am going to make a background for her to sit on. There is a tombstone in the stamp set that you could have her sit on, but I just wanted this to be a very clean and simple card with only her as the focus. Now that the panel is ready, we are going to jump right into coloring. I have my camera zoomed in tight so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I did speed up the coloring a bit just to save on time. So I'm starting first with the bear skin that's on her leg. And I picked E51, E11, and E04 for my three colors. The E04 is what's going to really emphasize the shadow lines. And um, I'm just going to blend that out real quick with the E11 and E51. And then I'm moving on to green. And for the greens, I used YG01 for my lightest green. And then um, G29 is my darkest green. So I wet the paper first with the lightest color. And this is going to just really help the ink spread out nicely because the paper is already wet. And I will work my way from the darkest color back to my lightest color. So after I used G29, I used YG17 to kind of bring, to kind of blend the G29 out a little bit. And then I'm going to go over the YG17 with YG05. And I will finish it up with YG01 just to make sure all the colors have uh, come together really nicely. I have some nice... Um, depth in the pictures, some nice shadow lines. And I'm going to do the same with the top of her dress, starting again with the lightest color, um, then emphasizing where I really want some um, deep shadow lines with the G29 and working my way back to YG01. Uh, I am coloring on a glass mat, which is another reason why I have my camera zoomed in so I didn't have any light reflection off of the glass but this is my favorite surface to Copic color on or even use color pencils. I like to have a very very firm um, surface to be coloring on. I'm loving the contrast of this green next to the purple background uh, and when I did the background I started with a deep blue ink. I didn't like it. So I went with a purple ink and it turned out to be this beautiful like blue violet background. Perfect how the uh, how the dye inks blended together. I wanted her to have orange and white stocking. So I picked E07, YR15 and YR12 for the orange combination. I love mixing warmer E or um, earth copic markers with yr markers for some really unique color combinations so in this case the e07 it's a it's a gorgeous almost burnt orange tone and it works great to keep um, the orange from being oversaturated like i didn't want it to be a bright orange in your face so um, i love that it just really muted how bright orange could be for the white stripes, I brought in some warm grays. I used W3 and W1, and that just uh, just pretty much just gave a, a shadow line to the white stripes. I still have a bit of coloring to do, so I'm going to put on some music and let you watch my coloring process. Um, I picked out some Halloween music, so enjoy, and I'll be back when I'm done coloring.
I am just finishing up with some white gel pen highlights. I don't really have any reason why I'm putting the lines where I am. I just am drawing lines and a few dots here and there. Uh, I do like to use white gel pen a lot on my coloring, not on all of it, not on all of the colorings that I do, but especially on this witch, I thought it was the perfect touch to finish her with. I did stamp a sentiment for this card using a sentiment from the same stamp set. I did that off screen and I attached it to a card base to um, finish the card. I, th I just think she turned out absolutely fabulous and I cannot wait to drop her in the mail. You can find more details on Colorado Craft Company's new release over on my blog. I'll leave a link to my blog down in the description box as well as links to the products that I use today. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. That's all that I have for today. Now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll be back shortly with another video so I'll see you then. Bye!